So anyways, I'm getting ready to start cutting grass for this year. And pretty much my beginning setup is I have to get some more two-cycle fluid for my uh, Echo Weed Eater, which I love that thing. And second of all, this is the best thing for it, is this thing. This is my Husker Varnia. Normally, last year I think I was using my, um, I don't know if it was, I forgot if it was Troy Build or what mower it was. But anyways, I'll be using this one this year. And it's a Honda engine and all. It, it runs fine. It's just a spark plug I had. I don't know. Spark plug doesn't look that good. It's time for a new one. And I am, I was, um, what was I doing? Oh, this is oil right here that leaked out into the carburetor. So I might have to clean that again. The reason it leaked out is because I had tipped my lawnmower tip this way because I got a new blade on it. Check out the blade. See it? New blade. Okay. Next, I'm actually going to do an oil change today. Get some fresh oil in it, put gas in it, and um, get a new spark plug. And that's it. My oil, my air filter is still good. Some oil got in it though, so I don't know if I'm going to get a new one or not. I don't know. I might do it. I'll see. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing today. Alright, so I'm getting gas for the Echo. And anyways, it does take a 50 to 1 ratio. And this gas here, I'm going to get one gallon of gas. And make sure you get the ethanol free, because ethanol could be bad for... Uh, that stuff anyways i'm gonna pump a gallon of gas and i'll get back all right so i was gonna show you the find at lowe's today i got this blade right here check this out this one it goes is for this but this already has a new blade on it so i don't need it i mean I, I would need it though and this spark plug right here i do like the uh the factory ome honda spark plugs but the reason i got this spark plug is because it was regular like at lowe's it was like seven something and it was on sale for two leather seat the hold for all of this stuff let me see that was with my card okay the total was uh 719 so that spark plug right there was 247 and the blade was 447 so the blade was regular twenty dollars and it was on sale for four forty seven. So that was like twenty percent of the price. And this spark plug right here too was regular about seven dollars and is on sale for two what two seventy. So pretty much I got for the price of the spark plug, I got a blade too to come with it. So that's a pretty good deal. And this I got a gallon of ethanol free ninety one octane gas. And I'm going to use it to mix to make my 50 to 1 ratio. Sometimes I like making it a little stronger. As in by stronger I mean more, more oil. So this makes a 50 to 1 ratio with 1 um, gallon of gas. Which in here I have about 0.9 gallons of gas. Just to be on the safe side. Um, because if you run too much oil the worst that could happen is you could foul out a spark plug. But if you do not run enough oil you could you could mess up your two cycle pretty bad and anyway so next i'm going to see if this spark plug just test it out i'm going to do an oil change on here so i'm not going to put the spark plug in until i'm done with the oil change but here's the spark plug and for, first i might just do the oil change on it all right guys i'm sorry about the construction over here they're building a house so it's going to be a little noisy, but here's my oil pan ready to go. So now... Wow. See, that's the oil. Pretty dark looking. Anyways, that right there is my new blade. I used it once to cut this yard. 
and um, pretty dark looking. And this is my other new blade I got today. Now, I'm for a Honda, this is a Honda GCV 160, and they use 10W30 oil, and especially for the temper, temperatures I'm going to be running at, which is above 70, so I have to do 10W30 on it. And I'm just going to move it around a bit, just to try to get all the oil out. So I finished doing the oil change on it now, and um, I'm draining all the oil. I did make a little mess right there, but I put some cat litter on it, so that should help it. And I got the oil right here. And what it does is, on a completely dry engine, it takes 18.6 ounces of 10W30. And that engine's not completely dry. It's Since I'm doing an oil change on it, there's going to be a little bit left in there. So I'm probably going to first add like 14, yeah, see that, finish dri dripping, and I'm going to like, probably start with maybe like 14, 15, see it's still draining, I don't know if you guys can see that good. See? So I'm just going to keep walking it like that for a few times until I get most of that oil out. And I'm going to probably start with like 15 ounces because I did drain this pretty good. And um, I'll add 15 ounces and you guys will see me do it. Now I'm adding the oil here at the measuring cup. And I'm pretty much just measuring out the 15 ounces. I do want to clean up this inside surface here because it did have like a little piece of grass and stuff on it but here comes the first pour make sure you get it all in and after this one what I'm gonna do is pull the um the string on it to help the engine turn and this way it'll kind of lubricate the rest of the engine and I'm only pulling it a few times here. And I'm not pulling it that hard. I'm just going slow with it. I have the video speed up. That's why it looks like it's. I'm going fast with it. And this is the final four ounces of oil I'm adding to it. And when you're done, always put the dipstick in and check it again. Make sure you didn't overfill it or if it's underfilled. Because overfilling an engine is very bad for it. So is underfilling it. Anyways, um, I washed off my mower with the hose and I put the spark plug in just so no water would get inside the engine. And this is the new one. Let's get this bad boy out. I already had this opened up to make it easier. And it's um, this one's a 13... 13 16 it's not a 5 8 but now I'm going to install this inside I don't know if you guys can see it good but oh well I always start these by hand just so you can feel yeah you can feel that they're in the groove and you do not want to over tighten these because you could strip it and once these are stripped it's, it's a pain to fix. Okay. Like I see how it's tight now. So now I'm just going to go That's it. That's as high as you need it. Clip it on.
good it's on and uh i already did check my oil on an even surface but i here you guys can see it with me and the oil is good and next i'm going to oh with my filter yesterday when i was uh installing the new blade some oil got on here so i might blow this off with my air compressor and see if i could get it clean if not i might just buy a new one but i'm gonna turn the gas on and start this thing 